Hello, Vachyo. So let's read this question. If L is equal to cos square 84 degrees plus cos square of 36 degrees plus cos of 36 degree times cos of 84 degrees and M is equal to cot of 73 degree times cot of 47 degree times cot of 13 degree and N is equal to 4 times sine of 156 degree times sine of 84 degree times sine of 36 degree. Then which of the following options is your R correct? There are multiple choice questions, so multiple options can be correct. The first option is L is lesser than 1. Second option is M is greater than tan 2. The third option N is greater than sine of pi upon 4. And the fourth option is L M N is greater than 0. So we'll start off this problem by listing the key concepts John's problem we use correctly. So key concepts to involved on all trigonometric identities trigonometric ratios key property and last thing that we'll be using is some basic ideas basic inequality idea so using these three concepts we'll be solving this problem so the trigonometric identities that we'll be using is cos of theta times cos of 60 minus theta the 60 is in degrees times cos of 60 degrees plus theta is equal to 1 upon 4 times of cos of 3 theta this is the first thing that we'll be using the second thing that we'll be using is sine of theta times sine of 60 minus theta times sine of 60 degrees plus theta is equal to 1 upon 4 times sine of 3 theta the third identity that we'll be using is sine of 3 theta is equal to 3 sine theta minus 4 times of sine cube theta and similar to this we have cos of 3 theta is equal to 4 times cos cube theta minus 3 sine theta using these basic trigonometric identities alongside them that the ratio property that we'll be using is sine of theta theta is some angle is equal to sine of pi minus theta and the last thing that we'll be using is the properties of tan that which are tan of theta is greater than zero as long as theta belongs from zero to pi by two zero is close and i'm only talking about principal domain over here it is positive over a lot more uh, extend on the real line but for the principal domain it is positive only on 0 to pi by 2 and tan of theta is negative on theta pi by 0 to 2 to pi and there will be few more properties like the value of pi should be known and what radian is and what degrees a degree radian conversion should be known. this problem as we approach it so now uh, the first thing that we have to see over here is we have to evaluate uh, an inequality on L, M and N. So first thing that we will be evaluating is on L. L and L is given to be cos square 84 degrees plus cos square 36 degrees plus cos of 36 degrees times cos of 84 degrees. Now note that 36 and 84 both differ from 24 degrees from the 60 degree so we can write this cos of 36 degrees times cos of 84 degrees as the remaining thing would remain same and this will be rewritten as cos of 36 times cos of 84 times cos of 24 upon cos of 24 
and this will enable us to use the identity which is uh, cos theta times cos of 60 minus theta times cos of 60 plus theta equal to 1 upon 4 times cos of 3 theta and thus this equation will become cos square 84 degrees plus cos square 36 degrees plus this will become 1 upon 4 times cos of 3 times of 24 degrees upon cos of 24 degrees. Now I forgot to list it uh, before but we will be using one more identity fairly common identity which is cos of a plus cos of b is equal to cos of a plus b upon 2 times cos of a minus b upon 2 is ka twice hota hai wo. So, here is the equation as one label. This will be modified cos square 84 degrees plus cos square 36 degrees plus twice of cos square cos of 84 times cos of 36 minus twice of cos of 84 times cos of 36 plus 1 upon 4 times of cos of 3 times of 24 degrees upon cos of 24 degrees. Now, cos of 84 times cos of 36 can be written as 1 upon 4 times cos of 3 times of 24 degrees upon cos of 24 degrees. And this cos square 84 degrees plus cos square 36 plus twice of cos 84 plus 36 uh, reveals us of a uh, some pop popular identity which is a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. And Matching this, we obtain, we simplify this above equation as cos of 84 degrees plus cos of 36 degrees whole square and the rest will become 1 upon 4 times cos of 3 times of 24 degrees upon cos of 24 degrees. Now, this cos of 84 plus cos of 36, we can write, rewrite this as 2 times cos of 84 plus 36 upon 2 times cos of 84 minus 36 upon 2. This is using the identity cos of a plus cos of b equal to 2 cos a times cos times of cos of a plus b by 2 times cos of a minus b by 2. And thus the equation will become times cos of 60 degree times cos of 24 degree minus 1 upon 4 and I will be splitting this cos of 3 times of 24 degrees as 4 times cos of cos cube 24 degree minus 3 cos of 24 degrees. This is again using the identity that we had stated in our three concepts thus leaving us with, the, with cos of 24 degrees minus 1 upon 4 times of 4 cos square 24 degrees minus 3 cos of 24 degree and this is cos 24 degree whole square. Why such? Because cos 60 is half and 2 cos 60 will become 1 and we are already had this whole square over here hence the, uh, this becomes as cos square 24 degrees and simplifying this uh, second term we obtain minus cos square 24 degree plus 3 upon 4. Hence, this gives us L to be 3 upon 4. Hence, L will be lesser than 1. And therefore, we will say that option 1 is true. About M, so what about M? M was given to be cot of 73 degrees, 47 degrees times cot of 13 degree. And we had to compare this M, whether it is greater than or lesser than or equal to tan of 2. Here 2 is in radian, note that. Now, this 2 lies between pi to pi by 2 because the value of pi by 2 is about approximately 1.57 and pi is 3.14. So, 2 lies between these and we know that from if theta belongs from pi by 2 to pi, tan of theta is tan of theta is lesser than 0, which will imply that tan of 2 will be lesser than 0. 
whereas this cot of 73 degrees uh, uh, greater than 0, cot of 47 degrees greater than 0 and cot of 13 degrees also greater than 0, which implies that m is greater than 0. Hence, m is greater than tan of 2 because tan of 2 is even lesser than 0. The third thing that we had to evaluate was n. Now, n was given out to be 4 times sin of 156 degree times sin of 36 degree times sin of 84 degrees. Now, sin of 156 degrees can be rewritten as sin of 156 is equal to sin of 180 minus 156 degrees because sin of theta is equal to uh, sin of pi minus theta and pi is basically 180 degree angle. This leaves us with the fact that sin of 156 degrees is sin of 24 degree. Substituting this in our n, we will obtain that n becomes 4 times of sin of 24 degree, sin of 36 degree times sin of 84 degree, which gives us a brilliant form of uh, this is written as sin theta times sin of 60 minus theta times sin of 60 plus theta. And we already know what that means. It means 1 upon 4 times of sin 3 theta. And this n will become 4 times of 1 upon 4 times sin of 3 times 24 degree. And 3 times 24 is 72. It will become n is equal to sin of 72 degrees. And we know that sin is an increasing function from 0 to pi by 2 which leads us to the fact that sin of 72 degree would of course be greater than sin of pi by 4 which is 45 degrees which is equal to sin of pi upon 4. Also all of the L, M and N all three of them were positive numbers. Hence we also have the fact that L times M times N is also greater than 0 because all three are positives. Hence our final answer would be option A is correct because L was 3 upon 4 and the inequality given to us to be satisfied is L is lesser than 1 which is indeed being satisfied. Option 2 is also true because M is greater than tan 2. Option C is also true because N is greater than sine of pi by 4 and option D is also true because LMN is also greater than 0. So our final answer is all option is all which are option A, B, C and D. I hope you all understood it well and best of luck.